Welcome to Electron Online, and now let's talk about the hyperbola. The, hyper the hyperbola is an interesting graph. Let's say we have two points on the x-axis, let's call those the foci. So here we have focus 1 and focus 2. Well, we can define a hyperbola by picking all the points on the x-y plane such that the distance from the one focus to the graph minus the distance from the other focus to that same point on the graph that distance will always remain a constant. So, in other words, distance d2 from here to there, from the focus 2 to the graph, and the distance from focus 1 to the same point on the graph, that difference must always be a constant. And it works for both sides because the hyperbola really has two parts to it. Here's one part, there's the other part. So we can pick any other point over here, and again, d2 minus d1 must equal a constant. Now notice, I did put absolute value signs around it because in this case, of course, that's going to be a negative value. On that side, it's going to be a positive value. But if we take the absolute value of the difference, that will always be a constant for any point on the graph. And that then defines a hyperbola. So all the points on the graph where d2 minus d1 equals a constant. The general equation for a hyperbola is x squared divided by a squared minus y squared divided by b squared equals 1. And it doesn't matter if a is bigger than b or b is bigger than a. It just changes the shape of the hyperbola, but it doesn't matter if one is bigger than the other. The vertices, which are the points that are closer to the origin of the hyperbola, are minus a0 and a0. So those points are distance a away from the origin, and that's the number squared below the x variable. And then the points b and minus b, so this is b and minus b on the y-axis, those are determined by the number below the y variable. And so we have x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1, and that would then be the general equation of a hyperbola. Now, if we have these two reversed, if you put the y first and the x second, so that it's y squared minus x squared, then the hyperbola would be, would be directed this way, and I'll show in the next video what that looks like. So, now we know what the vertices are, so those are the two points that are close to the origin on the hyperbola, and the foci are going to be on the right side of the positive focus and on the left side of the negative focus, and you can see that it's going to be minus c0, c0 on the other side, so that's on the x-axis. And the determination of c is here, where c squared must equal a squared plus b squared. So whatever these values are, so sum these up together, and that then equals c squared. Or, of course, you can then say that c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. <clears throat> so those are the general concepts of a hyperbola. We still will have to look and see when the hyperbola is not centered about the origin, when the hyperbola is centered in, a, in such a way that it opens upward and downward. So we'll see the different types of hyperbolas in the videos that are next. So if you're still interested, take a look and see what else we need to know about hyperbola.